Hey everyone, it's uh, Baby Donification again, and we are going to do some more Skyrim videos. Now, as you will soon notice when I start playing, um, I did some changes. I decided to, well first of all I'm going to explain what the hell happened. Um, I originally recorded like another video set pretty much going for an, about an hour or so worth of gameplay. And, um, what the fuck. Anyway, um... Did about an hour or so worth of gameplay and got it recorded and was going through it. And I was just checking some of the clips to make sure everything came out okay. And I had forgotten to put my uh, mic back on like the, as the default sound recorder. So, because I had originally gone to my brother's at one point and we were playing some like T um, TF2. And I was using the headset then and my laptop and I forgot to plug it back. When I plugged it back into my tower, I forgot to set its default so there was no audio. And so I was debating for a while whether I wanted to um, wanted to do that. Let's talk Riverwind to this guy real quick. Is everything you need. Uh, yeah, we did have so a break in. We still have after I figured all that out, robbers were only after one thing. It was um, an ornament. Shit. Solid um, gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could. I've got some coin coming in from my last uh, shipment. What was I saying? It's oh yeah. If you bring my so, I was worrying about that, and I was just like, I was just kind of thinking about like, well, how do I want to do this? Do I want to just where the hell are we going now? We're going to white run. That's right. Um, I was trying to decide whether I wanted to upload it without the commentary and just have the video stuff there, or did I just want to just start after that and be like, okay, well, here's what happened. Sorry, it wasn't there. There was no commentary. I decided upon a third option. I decided to um, wait. Which way? Which was White Run? Uh, white Run. Okay. Um, so I decided that it would be easier if I just create another character. And also, when I did the game the first time around, I did it as a. Uh, Wow, look at that. Well, that rabbit's gone. The hell? Oh shit. That wolf is that wolf is going after that Wow, this is actually Aw, oh, the poor deer is stuck. Huh. Ah, oh, that was pretty cool. Um so I decided instead to just make a magic character because since I had the warrior the last time I did this, I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do a little something new. So it's a little more blind for me. Like it's like, okay, well, do I want to take this or do I want to take that? It's not as really much. Uh, like I had a set process of what I did. But what the hell? Oh hell no! Yeah, bad idea, Wolf. Very bad idea. So I decided to just make a mage character. As you just saw there, as I shocked and burnt that very stupid wolf. Hey, it's an imperial guy. Hey, how you doing? Imperial business. Be on your way. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Anyway, uh, like when I did this the first time, I basically uh, freed this guy, and I was like, ah. I'm warning you. Your presence is. Like, see, it's like ah, uh, free the prisoner. If you free him, then all these guys attack you, and you do get more. You get some items that way, but then Imperials are going to be mad at you for a little bit. And I, pff, join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Yeah, I did that the first time around, and that was great. But now this way we can do a little more blind, and we'll just do it the uh, we'll just do it the Imperial way. This is the Blackbriar Meadery. I mean, there's nothing really anything interesting there, but we. I think we come back in there at some point. I don't really remember though. Might be for some quest I go back there. Possibly the Thieves Guild maybe? Maybe it was the Dark Brotherhood, I really don't remember. Speaking of the Dark Brotherhood, I'm just gonna go ahead and say say like just say this now. There's a point where like when you first do like when you begin the Dark Brotherhood quest line where you like help out this uh um, kid who like, did the black sacrament um 
there is a part... Wait, hold on. Before I go off on that, I'm going to go off on a second tangent and say, when I first played this game, I had no idea how to get to all these other different places like White Run or Windhelm and Dawnstar and Winterhold and all the way down here in Bufu, Egypt, Riften. And so, you know what I did? Eventually, like, I discovered some of this, and I just got a horse and booked it this way. And it took me a decent while to do that. And then I never realized until I actually got to like Dawnstar after I pretty much explored most of them. This guy right here, I can hire his carriage to go to any of those major cities right there. Look at that. That's what's weird is Riften is only twenty gold, even though that's a lot farther away in my opinion than a lot of these other ones. Anyway. And I mean like it's it's Oh crap. Wait, am I where am I going? Oh. Cool, I can just sort of sit there for a little bit. That's interesting. Um, anyway, so the thing about the Dark Brotherhood is that I never realized this until I actually decided that I want to test it, but basically there are two choices you can make. Like, there is, like, one quest line where it's you try to defeat the Dark Brotherhood and take them down, and then there's also something where you can actually, uh, like, you know, go with the normal Dark Brotherhood and do the whole Dark Brotherhood quest line. Dark Brotherhood questline is not blind for me, but if you guys do want to see a blind run through of this, like a, at least as blind as I can get it, run through the game, then I can uh, do that for you. Like I can just be like, okay, well, we're going to do the other quest. Yeah, I know where to find the Jarl, you stupid. But you know what? You did a good job. You know what? You know what? Yeah, I did get hit by a dragon because I was there. Ugh. But also, if any of you guys have any like idea of how I can like easily mass render video, like YouTube videos like this or like commentary videos like this, I would be it would be greatly appreciated because I have. Like, I'm right now using Windows Live Movie Maker, and I can only publish one movie at a time, and it takes, like, a good 30, 45 minutes, depending on what I'm doing at the time, or how long the video is, or how big the video is, to make that. And it's just, it's very cumbersome. I really just want to be able to get all the videos, like, together, like, all the video sets, and get it all ready to go, and then just click publish, or render, or whatever, and just go to bed. And then just come, wake up in the morning, have them all ready, rendered out. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must What's have this? more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Damn those Greymanes to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks. Speaking of oblivion, I might actually like after I like probably a decent while from now. Like once once I actually complete this game, like once I actually complete the whole Skyrim thing, I might end up doing like a throwback to Oblivion and maybe a throwback to uh, Morrowind. Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Grey Mains turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So it's basically like a very much smaller version so between the feud between the Imperials Grey and the Stormcloaks then. Were Battleborn. Ugh. Well, you were just talking about Imperial stuff, and I kind of don't want to make you mad. So we'll just go with Battleborn. Then I say, well met, friend. I can tell you were a sharp one the moment I laid eyes on you. Long live the Empire. You've been a good friend to me. How have I been a good friend to you? I just met you and just said, hey, yeah, I'm a Battleborn. Whatever, fuck it. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. You're gonna buy that big building? Before my wow. and Daw passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a man. <laughs> Easier said than Screw done. that. You don't know how hard it is to kill a mammoth. 
And also, whenever you try to kill a mammoth, there's normally a massive giant there, right there next to them, or like two mammoths and like two giants. And it is like I don't know if any of you guys have ever fought a giant before, but if they if they land a stomp on you and you don't block in time, you get sent like a mile high in the air. It is. I might actually just show you that sometime if I can actually find a giant to test it out with. Yeah, you you go in there. You got. It's in baubles for sale. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. So you have... Ah, so you are sort of... Oh, hello, lockpicks. I will take you... You have, like, no gold, ma'am. Just to let you know. You have, like, nothing. Oh, son of a bitch. Why did I sell her that? <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, you can have that. I don't want that. Pfft. That was dumb. I sold you all my lockpicks. I was like, oh, wow, she has eight lockpicks on her. That's that's cool. The Bannered Mare. This sounds like a pretty happening place. By the way, what time is it anyway? So I don't really like. I don't want to end up like playing this for two hours and have to render out two hours worth of uh, video. Cause I was actually gonna do that with my raid. Cause we did wipe a couple times on a track, well, a couple dozen times on a track scene, and I was tempted to just upload all of them, like have like those funny videos and all that, but my. Uh,